Warning, this video sucks. Howdy everyone, Winky here, and I know this video is going to be more of a rant, but I've been wanting to talk about Rank for a while, and after it came out, it was a little disappointing. I played a couple of games, and overall, the experience has been okay. And I'll get into why later, but I just want to say before I actually start, I just want to mention that I know that this is still an early development, and I'm recording this as of the 1st of November. So, Kirko 1v1s just came out like yesterday, last night. So yeah, this is, this is my ranked rant. Okay, so firstly, I want to start off with when Ranked first came out, it was so bad. Honestly, was not good at all. I mean, you had people who were really, really good, and then you had teams that weren't good. I felt like almost as if there was no, like, team balancing in a way. So, one team could be filled with absolute noobs, and then another team would be filled with just, like, the best people like this like sabe and fabin on one team and then you had like just a bunch of randoms that are pretty bad at the game on the other team right the team balancing sucked okay and then let's also talk about the maps there wasn't that many maps i mean one was north north sucked as a map completely i don't think i've ever seen a north match it's just a bad map and it's not fun to play on which is why everyone's been playing playing Favela, Favela, I think that's how you say it, and Posier, because those maps are actually good and balanced. Next, let's talk about how ranked is Search and Destroy, and now recently added 1v1s. Now, I think the additive 1v1s is pretty good. I enjoy that feature. The only problem is, is that you have to play for five minutes. Now, I don't mind playing the game for, game for five minutes. I play the game for eight minutes. That's how long a normal match is. But the problem is, is that normally in 1v1s, you might go first to 15. It does, The game doesn't end when you get to 15. So that means you can go on a 20 kill streak and there's like nothing that really stops you. Another thing is that you can cross, which I mean, I guess is literally just a normal map, but you're spawned with Vita. And it's, you know, you just play until the timer runs out. That's how, that's how the 1v1 ranked works. Which isn't bad, but I think it could be better. As in, if you add first to 15. So that's one thing that I think could be better. Another thing is that when it first came out, it was only search and destroy. That sucked. And the thing is too, is that when people were talking about ranked, there was like no poll or anything. The only poll that Zip actually did research for was inside a thread. Now, if you don't know what threads are, it's a thing on Discord, or it's like a, I guess almost like a sub channel where sure you have your general, but someone can make a thread within general that only if you click on it and go to the thread, then you could actually see the chat. The only problem is, is that majority of the people that were in that chat don't actually play Kirka competitively or like a ranked. There is there was Skywalk. Skywalk at the time was a M60 nerd who would only play M60 for the Kalo on Search and Destroy and would, you know, that's how he got a 5k um Kalo or whatever. So that was cursed. And honestly. I will get into Kalo later, but it was it's so bad. Um, but basically, that's just kind of what he did the entire time. So obviously, he's going to say Search and Destroy for Ranked. Now, at that time, I didn't really like Clash. Now I understand like why Clash is like the definitive map. But overall, Clash is still not that good of a map. So I didn't like Clash 1v1s, but you know, that's like competitive, right? That's the competitive standard. But instead of, you know, Zip saying, okay, I'll make a poll in our dedicated polls channel, he decided to have, there was like three, four polls that were in that, um, that were in that thread that people were reading off of. 
or that people were using to actually like use the thing instead of like going into general or making a poll he did that and another thing is too is that there's competitive discord servers there's one by one of his staff members called kirka arena and kirka competitive by carry guy so obviously there is competitive scenes that he could have gone on an alt account and just looked he could have just looked and seen what was there and you know maybe played around and just see you know obviously he didn't have to play but he could have like seen and try to find out what are the ranked game modes that people like and a lot of and you know one that is really fun is 3v3 point 3v3 point is super fun me personally i love 3v3 point it's a fun game mode and the maps that are on there are stolen from Krunker, but they are pretty well made maps and he could have gone into these Discord servers and do some research and he could have been like, okay, this is what my community plays for ranked or for some sort of competitiveness. But he didn't. He didn't. And that's the thing that sucks is that 3v3 point is a really, really fun, you know, first to 70, you just, and then you just go first to 70 points. All right. And then once one team gets to 70 points, everyone leaves. They vote. Mm, done and deal. Done deal. But he didn't do that. In fact, he he just released Search and Destroy first, which honestly was not a good move. Because Search and Destroy is not. I don't know. Search and Destroy is either you either have good teammates or you have bad teammates. And if you have bad teammates, obviously it's bad. But that's in any normal other game. So I can't really complain too much on that. That's just me coping. No, I will give credit where credit is due. He did actually make a ranked. But the thing is that it was based off the Kalo feature. Which isn't a bad thing. Like having Kalo for rank isn't bad. The only problem is, is that there's no ranks within rank. It's ranked mode, but there's no ranks. Like, you know what I mean? Because you have games like chess where they do have Kalo. But you have ranks like Grandmaster. Um... Uh noobs you know so there are obviously ranks within chess i don't know like what they all are but i know there's like grandmaster and that's kind of it. it's kind of it but you know what i mean like you could have like bronze iron whatever and to get to that rank you have to reach a certain kalo threshold that's like the main thing right Another thing is Kalo, Kalo calculation. I have no idea what goes on. Cause sometimes I can go, I can go two and four and I can still gain like two, three Kalo. While like a person on my team who's in first place gains only about like one Kalo. And they are going like 10 and two, right? So it doesn't make sense. Kalo calculation is just broken. Like it just doesn't make sense ever, which I think to draw people away from actually trying to grind Kalo and they're just like I don't want to play ranked I'm just gonna go back to shipment and just play solo because I have more fun clicking heads on shipment than I do having to pray that but tickle sauce 98 over here is gonna actually be able to hit all of his shots going zero and four it just sucks I like the new added feature where the winning team gets a um 1.5 um increase on their kalo like so whatever they would normally get they get 1.5 times so that's a i would say that's a pretty good feature and i like that i mean overall i would say rank is okay obviously there's still so much more that we can add to it but it still is early into the rank development Anyways guys, I hope you have a good day and I'm gonna go eat donuts now. Bye bye!